In today's video, let's understand if breakfast is really the most important meal of the day. Stick around because you do not want to miss this one. Hi everyone, my name is Nirupama. I am a PhD in food science and a certified nutrition coach. Along with making YouTube videos, I also offer personal health consultations. In case you want to get in touch with me for a consultation, check the link in the description box. To understand if breakfast really is the most important meal of the day, let's start by understanding something that the body does automatically every morning. The cortisol awakening response, also known as the CAR. When you wake up in the morning, your body produces a surge of cortisol, the stress hormone. This is completely normal and it is actually beneficial for the body. This is called as the cortisol awakening response and it peaks about 30 to 45 minutes after you wake up. Why does this happen? Because your body is priming itself for the day ahead, boosting alertness and basically getting your system ready for the day. Now, ideally, the cortisol level should naturally begin to decline a few hours after waking up and as the day passes. Now let's take a pause here and look at two scenarios. Scenario 1 – Skipping breakfast When you regularly skip breakfast and you stay hungry for the first few hours in the morning, your cortisol stays elevated for a prolonged period of time and it does not dip like it should naturally happen. The prolonged elevated level of cortisol disrupts your body's natural rhythm and it puts you at a risk of metabolic dysfunction, meaning high blood pressure, insulin resistance and elevated cholesterol. In fact, studies have shown that people who habitually skip breakfast are at a 20 1% higher risk of experiencing a cardiovascular event or even dying from it. Chronic high cortisol can also dysregulate your HPA axis which is your hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis and this can contribute to immune system dysfunction, mood disorders like anxiety and depression and a higher risk of hypothyroidism especially in women. Skipping breakfast also tends to trigger overeating later in the day typically of calorie dense and nutrient poor food. This might affect your weight, your HbA1c, your triglycerides and can even cause bloating and discomfort in the stomach. And let's be honest, if you have ever skipped breakfast and you have felt tired, irritable and foggy-headed, it is not just your imagination. It is your brain running low on fuel. Moving on to scenario number two, eating a balanced breakfast. Eating a well-rounded breakfast helps your cortisol dip during the day and brings it down to healthy levels. This is a good thing because lower cortisol means lower inflammation in the body, effective fat loss, a healthy HPA axis and good thyroid function. Eating a good breakfast can also stabilize your blood sugar levels early in the day and this can prevent episodes of binge eating, sugar cravings and overeating during the later part of the day. In kids and teens in the age group of 6 to 18, eating a healthy breakfast has been linked to better cognition, smarter memory, better academic performance and overall health. Now I know intermittent fasting is trending and a lot of people skip breakfast as a part of intermittent fasting. Now this might work for some people, but the science is very clear. For most people, eating a healthy, well-rounded breakfast offers substantial health benefits. However, what you eat matters just as much as whether you eat. So if you are eating sugary cereals or pastries in your breakfast, you might want to rethink your approach. Aim for whole foods, protein, adequate fiber and healthy fats to fuel your day the right way. So is breakfast the most important meal of the day? When it is done right, the answer is a resounding yes. That's all from me today. I hope this video was helpful in clearing your dilemma about breakfast. Do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more science-backed health content. And let me know in the comment what does your typical breakfast look like. I will see you guys in my next video. Take care until then. Bye.